In today's video, we are going to be creating an amazing poster design for sneakers. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First and foremost, we are going to create a new document. Let's grab our asset. So we are going to copy this texture. This texture right here. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We convert to smart object, Ctrl T. Then we are just going to make that bigger. We scale it up. Then we are going to apply a solid color. So we're going to copy this as code. With that in place, we are going to change the blend mode. So we are setting the blend mode to darken. Let's grab the next item. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to convert that to a smart object. Ctrl T, then we are going to scale that up as well. With this layer in place, we are going to reduce the opacity. Now we are going to apply a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. But first to check colorize. Now we are going to apply another solid color. Copy this hair code right here. With this in place, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. With the mat selected, we grab the gradient tool. Our foreground is going to be black and our background is going to be white. And we are just going to drag this way. With the layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. We select both layers, we press Ctrl G to make a group. Now, with this layer selected, Ctrl J, we make another copy. Then we are just going to bring that on, on top of all the layers right here. Then we are going to set the blend mode to color dots. We are going to create another solid color. Copy this as code. With this layer in place, with the mark selected, we are going to grab the gradient tool. We zoom out and we are just going to drag this way to erase. Now let's grab the branch tester. Select the branch tester and copy it. Ctrl T. So we are just going to make that bigger. Position it properly. Click the check mark to confirm. And we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. We reduce the opacity. Now we are going to apply a levels adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to clip that onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. Then we move this slider just a bit. So we have it right here. With the layer selected, we set the opacity back to 100. Then we are going to create a max. We grab a soft hand brush. Set opacity to 90. Then we set foreground to black and we are going to erase. Now we are going to copy this crack. So Ctrl T. First of all, we convert to smart object Ctrl T and we are just going to make that bigger just a bit. So we are going to set the blend mode to soft light and we are going to reduce the opacity.
Now we are going to copy the text and position it right here. So let's grab sneakers. We'll position it right here with the layer in place. We are going to create a curse adjustment layer clicked onto the layer. So the effect applies only to the layer. We are going to reduce the opacity. The sneakers layer selected. We are going to apply a layer style so we select blending options. Then we'll be applying drop shadow to this. So we select drop shadow. We are setting the color to black. We are just going to set the angle, the opacity, distance, spread and size. So our distance is okay. Spread and size zero. Then we click OK. Now we just need something to work with. So with this in place, we are going to close the layer up. Right click and create layer. So we are separating the shadow onto a new layer. We have the shadow separate. Then we right click and convert to a smart object. So we are going to apply motion blur to that. We go for filter blur, motion blur. Then we are just going to choose an angle and a distance. So we have angle right here and then we choose our distance to 166. With that in place, we are going to create a mask. Grab a soft hand brush and we are just going to erase. So we are going to increase our opacity. We are just going to erase. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Click on to the layer. With the mask selected, Control I to invert. We reduce the opacity. And we are going to set foreground to white because we are going to paint. So black is used to erase and white is used to paint. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer. With the max selected control I to invert. Our foreground is still white, so we are just going to paint some shadows. Now that's way too much, so we are going to reduce the opacity. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the max selected control I to invert, we reduce the opacity. Foreground is white, so we are just going to paint some shadows, some soft shadows just around this. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer, but for highlight this time around. Now we are just going to right click on the layer, go to blending options. Then we are just going to move this slider, hold alt and break the handles. And we click OK. So now that we have that in place, with the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert, our foreground is still white. By increasing the opacity just a bit and we are just going to paint some highlight. With the layer selected, we are going to create a new layer just beneath that. Grab a soft hand brush. We are going to set our foreground to black. Then we are just going to paint some soft shadows. Reduce the opacity. We are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is set to 100. Our foreground is set to white. We are going to make the brush bigger by the right bracket key. We zoom out. And then we click once. Once is enough. So with this layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay.
we are going to reduce the opacity just a bit. Now let's grab this. I don't know whether to call this peanut or granite, but I definitely know you know what this is. Let's grab this, position it, Control J, we make a copy. And we are just going to rotate this and position it right here. So with this layer selected, we are going to create a drop shadow for this layer. So just as for the snake case, we are going to create a drop shadow with a distance angle. So we are just going to apply this onto this. We are going to edit that a bit. So similar thing, we apply a drop shadow onto this. Then we are going to create a layer, separate the shadow onto a new layer. Then we are going to apply a motion blur. I believe you guys you can do this we are just applying the same thing we did to the sneakers so that should be pretty much it Once we have everything in place, we are just going to copy this. So we are going to set the blend mode to screen. We are going to apply a levels onto this, so we clip it onto the layer. I'm going to apply it here saturation adjustment layer. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max control I to you get. We grab a soft hand brush. We set foreground to white and we are just going to paint some back. Once you have everything in place, you're just going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. We convert to smart object and we go for camera raw. So filter, camera raw, filter, and we are just going to play with these settings. Thank you so much guys for watching. Till next time, stay creative.